Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. So sidechaining in Reaper is something that took me a little while to figure out because it isn't as simple as in all other DAWs. And today I'm going to show you how it actually works. Here is my session. What I have over here is a kick, which is my sidechain input signal. So this is the thing I want to trigger my compressor on. The compressor I'm using is a FabFilter Pro C2 on a uh, empty channel for the demo. Uh, but this could, for instance, be a synthesizer or whatever you want to sidechain on. If you don't know what sidechaining is, check out a video of a different YouTuber because I've never explained that. I think you know what sidechaining is and you simply want to do it in Reaper. So let's make the Pro C a bit bigger so we can also see our sidechain input. We want an external input, of course, but where do we input it? Well, Reaper really looks at the plugin from an engineering perspective. Let's, let's just say that. And we've got a button over here that says two or four in and two out. And that's actually what the plugin is. So the plugin is actually four channels input and two channels output. And the first two channels of the Pro C input are the, uh, the normal sound input, so the sound in, and the two outputs are the normal sound outputs. The other two inputs are the sidechain inputs. And when we open the screen behind this button, we can, we can root those inputs. And we can see now that one and two are one and two inputs from our Reaper channel are going into the compressor. And when we press this plus button, we will get three and four, which will go into the other pair of mono inputs of the fab filter which, which, which in fact are the sidechain inputs so this this is difficult to get your head around but once the the quarter drops that's a dutch saying i think uh, you will know it forever so what we simply want to have is we want to have our kick signal on three and four so in reaper this goes track wide it's actually inputs three and four on this channel and this is simpler than you might think so what we're doing is we're sending an aux of that kick to our synth thingy track, like this. And instead that we're routing it to one and two, we are routing it to three and four, or only three or only four, but let's just do three and four. And when I press play right now, you'll see that the kick will be coming in to our sidechain input and the compressor is being triggered by the kick. One cool and handy feature I think that Reaper has is it displays a, a second pair of, of a peak meters on the channel so you can really see what the sidechain is actually inputting into it so it's it's really nice and overviewable and with that being said i want to end this video over here if you liked it let me know with a thumbs up if you didn't like it you know what to do with that that thumbs down or leave a comment uh, what you can also do with comments is leave ideas for future video suggestions maybe you want to add something to this video you can all do it in the comments below my videos are being sponsored by patrons you can check out the campaign over here if you also want to sponsor if you first want to look one of my other videos that's also possible they are free to watch over here thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye bye